and welcome. My name is Andrew Grant. In this video, we're going to have a quick look at setting the screensaver in Windows 10. And we'll also have a quick look at the power management features available. So what we need to do first off is go down to the search bar and type in screensaver. And we should get turn screensaver on or off. So we'll click on that and we'll get the single dialog box with the single tab screensaver. It's got a preview window. I'll just zoom in so you can see it's got a preview window. The screensaver settings just here and then power management just here. Okay so we'll have a look at the screensaver options. You have a 3D text, blank, bubbles, mystify, photos and ribbons. If you set it on 3D text you can go to settings or preview. The preview gives you a full screen preview so I'll just click on it and you'll see what I mean. There we go. Okay, and then it's got settings. So we'll click in settings and you come up with this extensive dialog box, which you can set quite a lot of different things. You could custom text, so you can pop in your own text. You can choose your font and the weight. You can choose the resolution, but I wouldn't recommend touching that. It's set for the most optimal usually. The size of the font, so if you come down to small and click OK and then we'll click preview as you can see it's very small usually set somewhere around the large you've got a rotation type which goes non spin seesaw wobble and tumble just fiddle with these to your heart's content you've got how fast you want it to go around if it's slow it's very slow if you want fast it's very fast it's usually set somewhere in the middle and then we've got solid colors which you can set custom color for so you just click on the custom color and choose your color from there texture custom texture if you've got some custom textures you can go into there and get them and you've got reflection and custom reflection again click on to go and get the different reflections if you've got them okay, and then you show specular highlights that's just the difference in the uh, texture i'll just show you this is with specular highlights so we'll do this that's with the specular highlights and this is without specular highlights as you can see it changes the color as it were and that's basically it the display setting shows you graphics card information so that's that then we've got blank which i know it doesn't have settings i'll show you settings i'll just zoom in so you can see that this screensaver has no options that you can set. Okay, some of them do, some of them don't. So the blank is, as you can see in the window there, just blank. I'm going to do the preview. The screen's going to go blank. Don't worry, there's nothing gone wrong. Here we go. There we go. Okay, then we've got bubbles, which as its name suggests, put bubbles across your screen. I'll click the preview. And there we go. Bubbles. Then we've got mystify across. There we go, like that. Then we've got photos, which I'll come back to in a minute, and ribbons, which as you can see from the preview, puts ribbons across your screen. Okay, so we'll come back to photos. This has got a settings, so we'll click on settings. It's usually set to your pictures folder, but in this case, I've set it to a custom folder, which if you click browse, will take you to a custom wherever you want. It's usually set here, but I've set it, put some pictures in and saved it to its own folder which you can save that and then you've got the speed so you've got slow medium and fast medium's good three or four minutes per picture if you want them in chronological order i'll zoom in uncheck that if you don't care about the order check that shuffle pictures then you've got a link how do i customize my screensaver click on that it doesn't really take you anywhere as you can see i'll we'll get rid of that click save when you're done and it'll be saved Underneath the drop down box you've got a wait. This is the, no the amount of time to wait, but the computer will wait before there's no screen activity and the screensaver kicking in. I like about 15 minutes, 30 minutes. You can either use the little buttons or type it in. And then next to that you've got on resume display log on screen. If that's checked, when you come back to your uh, computer, you'll be required to put in your PIN, password, fingerprint, facial recognition, whatever. And then underneath this, we've got power management. Conserve energy or maximize performance by adjusting display brightness and other settings. And a link to the change 
power settings so we'll just click on that and it pulls you up to the power options which has two options balance and power saver you've also got a link here i'll just zoom in so you can see tell me more about power plans you click on that it takes you to a bing page with the different options and then you can change the plan settings by clicking on these two either that one or that one depending which one you're using and then turn off display you've got a whole range of options put the computer to sleep again a whole range of times then you've got restore default settings for this plan click on that and it'll restore everything to default change advanced power settings you click on that just drop that down if you click on this then you get a drop down with balanced high performance or power saver and then a, a vast range of options underneath so skip the internet explorer you've got the desktop backgrounds which tells you if something's available or not wireless you can set it to where you want it to be sleep or sleep after hibernate after allow wake timers if you want to change anything just click in it and it'll come up with you know how to set it as you can see or you can click on that and it'll restore all the plan defaults when you don't click on apply and okay and when you're finished making the changes any changes that you want just click on the save changes like so and it'll take you back to here and you can just click out of it Okay, that's all there is to it. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.